Welcome back to the Craster Shop, everybody. How's it going today, Jerry? You know, Mike, I am doing great. And I'm so excited for all of you out there catching all of those crawfish. Now, the next step, how to transport your crawfish. Now, Mike, why is it so important that we go over the details of transporting the crawfish? Do you know, there's a couple reasons, Jerry. You know, you want your crawfish when you cook them to be fresh and alive. But there's some other things too. It doesn't matter what state you're in, country you're in, there's a lot of legalities about, about transporting crawfish. You That's wanna true. make sure you're following your laws. Crawfish, although a delicacy and one of our favorite things, they can be really bad if they're an invasive species, get somewhere they're not supposed to be, they'll actually really hurt ecosystems. So today, we're gonna show how to transport some crawfish. Check out this little clip. All right, so we're out here with Justin. He is pulling a cylinder trap that has a couple of crawfish in it. Pop, what do you think of that, huh? That's pretty good. Different terrain with different traps. All come out pretty nice and conveniently. Very nice. Very nice, yeah. There's some good ones in there. Put that uh, cooler right over the top now, didn't it? Show those off. Sure is nice when you can come out and hang out, have a good time. Minimal effort, lots of fun, good food. And when you can fish crawfish is like that, Oh man. Jerry, there's actually lots of good ways to transport your crawfish. What, what are a couple ways? You know, if you happen to have a boat that has a live well, you can use that live well to transfer your crawfish. Now, if you don't have a boat or your boat does not have a live well, you can use a cooler. Yeah, you know what? You can use a cooler and you can just have a cooler just with nothing in it. You know, a crawfish will stay alive a couple hours. You don't want to, if it's a really hot day, you probably don't want to do that. But you know, if you're just driving around your boat, throw them right in the cooler. They'll stay good a couple hours until you're ready to cook them up in the same cooler, you can actually put them in water as well. But now crawfish need oxygen to live. So if you are just gonna put them in water, you do have to be careful, they can die in the water. Yeah, so there, there's a, they will, they will drown. Um, and there's a rule, you don't wanna eat dead crawfish. That is true. Now what we have found, we've ordered a little bubble box. You can find these online. And we've actually attached it to the back of our cooler. Yeah, see, we, we actually drill a hole, put the bubble box right through. This is really good. Check your legalities, of course, because sometimes you can't transport them that way back home. You gotta make sure that your local rules. Yep. Now, we have used a cooler and put crawfish on ice before. There are certain states that uh, consider them in hibernation if you put them under ice. So that's another way you can transport them. Absolutely, you know, you, you put some ice in there, you put the crawfish in there, you put some more ice on them. The, the state we went to, they did not allow live crawfish to be transported because of the invasive species thing. They said if we did that, we were legal to, to take them. So now Mike, is there a guaranteed way that I could transport my crawfish? There is one way that you can transport crawfish anywhere in the world that I've ever seen. So Jake and I have caught quite a few crawfish and uh, I have a portable crawfish cooker that I'm gonna get out. Stuff. So we're just gonna set this up right here. And this is where we're gonna cook our crawfish. All right, you guys, the crawfish are in. It's just gonna be a few minutes. We're gonna let them boil five minutes, and Jake and I, it's gonna be dinner time, huh, big guy? Yeah. Hey, Mike, what are you doing? I thought you were gonna show us the guaranteed way to transport crawfish. Man, Jerry, you know what? I am, but I wanna show you a little trick I do. These little propane tanks, you know what? I can cook my crawfish right on the river of the lakeshore. It's great, my whole setup comes, I just carry it in my truck in this, or I put it in my boat. But the cool thing is, is these little tiny propane tanks, there's a nozzle you can get, and you can take your whole cooking setup. Now what might that have to do with transporting crawfish? You know what, I got it. 
I can transport them in my belly. That's right, that's the best way to do it. Get out in the wilderness, eat them in the wilderness. Fresh food out on the lake, man, it doesn't get any better than that. Also, I don't know anywhere in the world that you can't transport cooked crawfish. <laughs> so you can cook crawfish as much you want, put them in two gallon bags, put them down on ice. Not only can you eat them when you get home, eat them the next day, you can freeze them. Oh man, Jerry, this has been a great, a great episode. Now listen, I hope all of those tips were something you can really enjoy and really use. And we're gonna catch you on our next hack, number five, on how to cook crawfish. Hey Jerry, I've got yes. a little bit of bonus footage for these guys. Come nice! Here. Check it out, we're fishing in the middle of the day and uh, we got second run of traps, got some pretty nice crayfish in here. Creature catcher like always is getting up. Oh man, <laughs> oh <laughs> man! Chopped down a little bit for some reason. There was just <laughs> a lot, a lot, a lot of crayfish today. Gonna drop these down to the bottom and keep them fresh. And uh, that's only our second run of grabbing all the traps, too. <laughs> We're gonna go catch some more kokanee. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. One. Find a nice safe spot to drop these back down. Oh my gosh, that thing is heavy. That's awesome, dude. Minimal effort, maximum fun. <laughs> <laughs> Maximum poundage. All right, a nice little craster tip for everybody. One thing that we do when we're camping on a lake or a river is you can keep your crawfish really, how, how do we keep our crawfish really crisp and fresh on the lake? So here's how we do it. We call this a creature catcher. Now it's actually a creature holder. It's just a large trap that has no doors or anything on it except the top and it keeps our crawfish fresh right in the water. It does, we put a rope on it, we put our caught crawfish near, lower it down to the bottom. The lake is already aerated. It keeps them fresh and nice. They, they can be a day or two in there while you're camping, cook them when you want. Hey, we will catch you guys later.